weeks in a row it was at number one, and its reign is going to come to an end this weekend. Well, and it looks like at least one of the films uh, is something that I would enjoy, uh, Cars 3. I, I, w I wasn't sure if you were going to go with Cars 3 or Rough Night, if you like the R-rated <laughs> raunchy. Oh, yeah, uh, I want to hear about Rough Night. You know, yeah. comedies. But yeah. Cars 3, first, don't mix them up. Don't take your kids to Rough Night <laughs> uh, accidentally. Cars 3 is the one you want to take your kids to. That's the sequel to Cars and Cars 2, I guess. Uh, the Pixar Disney movie, which has done very well over the past few years. The first one opened to $60 million. Second one opened to 66 million. This is going to come back down a little bit, maybe around that 60 million, uh, but it, it's going to be good enough for first place and win the weekend. Uh, of the four movies out this weekend, uh, I only got a chance to see Cars 3. And if you're a fan of the franchise, this is going to be more of that, and I think you'll enjoy it. Um, personally, I'm not really a Cars kind of guy, a talking Cars kind of guy. Not really my scene. Um, but, you know, I think uh, it's got that Pixar magic that I think everybody loves. What else is opening up that is going to compete with it? Uh, nothing's going to compete with it in, in terms of the box office, but we got three other movies opening uh, that are going to do eh, eh, not great. Uh, you got Rough Night, which is the R-rated comedy starring Scarlett Johansson, Jillian Bell, Alana Glazer, and Kate McKinnon from SNL. Just kind of a murderer's row of comedic actresses there. Uh, a great, great cast. Not hearing great things about the movie, though. It, basically, it's got this great cast, but it doesn't really know what to do with it. It's going to be compared to Bridesmaids because it's an, a raunchy, R-rated, female-centered comedy. It's going to be compared to The Hangover as well because mm -hmm. it's all about a, a kind of a bachelorette party. Um, so that's going to be a, a hard R there. Uh, and then also, in so you have Cars 3 is going to be first, Wonder Woman is going to be second, then likely in third will be All Eyes on Me. That's the documentary or the biopic about Tupac Shakur that's been a uh, long time in the making. They've gone through several directors there, several stars. Uh, think about six years they've been taking to make this thing, and it's finally coming out. And critics have just been savaging it. It's not going to be this summer's Straight Outta Compton or any kind of good music biopic. Most are saying, the, like the New York Times, they say it's uninspired, which is really kind of a shame for a movie about such a dynamic person as in Tupac. You know, I was listening to the advertisements on this, and I kind of knew there was a problem when the, the ad for the movie said, uh, some critic had called it one of the 10 best films to watch in June. And I thought, wow, if you're only one of the 10 best films in the month of June, that's not really a, <laughs> no, a high bar. Not saying much. They really put that in an ad? Yes. I mean, that's yes. terrible. 10 best that films to watch in June. <laughs> Definitely not, no. That's not a selling point yeah. at all. And back to Rough <laughs> Night, you know, like you were saying, great cast. Oh, yeah. And I love Kate McKinnon, but um, you're saying um, sometimes when you get a, a great cast, it doesn't matter how great they are, if the script is bad, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of, uh, like I went into the Amy Schumer, Goldie Hawn comedy mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago, awful. like really having high expectations for that, and it just kind of fell flat. Um, you know, this it's hard to get these comedies. Right? That's why The Hangover was such a big hit. Nobody expected anything out of it. And then it just kind of shocked people. Bridesmaids, same thing. Nobody, was, nobody knew really what to expect. And then it just kind of popped on the scene. So when you have a movie like this and you've got such a great cast going into it, your expectations are going to be high. And then you have Scarlett Johansson, who doesn't really do movies like this. So it's, it's great to see her kind of play in that pool. Um, and Kate McKinnon, who I love, but I mean, she, she has just a really annoying Australian accent in this. And yeah. it, it annoys me throughout the trailer. I can't imagine a whole movie of it. I, I don't need to see her putting on an accent like that for two hours. <laughs> you said there was one other film this weekend there that we is. should take a look at? There, there, I don't know if you should take a look at it or not, but uh, 47 Meters Down ah, yes. is the latest shark attack movie. That's about two sisters played by Mandy Moore and Claire Holt. They go on a shark diving expedition. They get trapped in the shark cage at the bottom of the ocean, surrounded by great whites, and then they have about an hour of oxygen left. And so it's you know, it's one of the, it sounds very tense to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't need to go to the movies to to get that tense. Um, and the reviews are and eh, so so so. But if you like those kinds of things, maybe you know sharks, water, summer. Maybe that's for you. I'm picking Cars Three as my movie of the weekend. Cars 3 is the one, and I, I, I got to say, I also got a chance to see uh, the latest Despicable Me movie. Oh, yes. Uh, saw that last night. That's coming out in a couple of weeks. 
um, and that is fantastic. So we'll talk more about that uh, as it comes closer to coming out. That's great. Jason mm -hmm. Nathanson, ABC News Entertainment contributor from Los Angeles, thank you as always for your insight into the movies. Sure thing.